All right, guys. Now, let's make some stuff happen, as promised. <coughs> yeah, yeah, stuff happen. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, first we gotta go to the pawn shop. And get ourselves a few things. Ooh. Uh, Your candy dish is empty. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know whose voice is whose. I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. Are you doing the genie? No. Well, get some more then. That's not the genie. That's an old man. I fear that is impossible. Without the fairy, I can no longer get imports from the other islands, and we do not grow mint ex extract on the Isle of the Crown. Oh, I hate not getting what I want. <laughs> Disregard anything that was just said about the genie. That's totally not the genie. Yeah, totally not. Is there really no more mints, shopkeeper? The mint dish is empty. Aww. That is sad. Okay, anyway. Shopkeeper, I have something awesome for you. I found this large pearl. Might it be valuable enough to ransom back my family ring? I have never seen such a perfect pearl. Certainly you can have your ring back. Yay! I'm glad you didn't sell it. I'm a bit attached to it, I'm afraid. Of course you are. You would be cold-hearted if you felt any differently. I am happy to see a family heirloom back with its rightful owner. Well, now I feel bad, because I think if I gave a family ring over, I wouldn't feel very much remorse. But then again, I'm not a f really fond of jewelry. Would you like a rotten tomato? Rotten tomato wouldn't appreciate <laughs> being traded into a pawn shop. Okay. Uh, how about a scarf? If Alexander wants to exchange one of, uh, one of his possessions for an item in the pawn shop, he'll have to arrange it with the pawn shop owner first by showing him the object in trade. Like this? I think, uh, like I, think this? It thinks, I think it thinks you're not clicking on him. Try, like, there we go. Oh, would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? I think not. I do not have much call for that item these days. Aw, but it's a royal scum. Would you like a brick in the head? I'm sure you would. Would you be interested in trading for this brick? Hmm, I'm afraid I have very little call for bricks, Prince Alex. Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's quit goofing off here and give him Mechanical Nightingale. Do you mind if I trade this in? Of course, Prince Alex. I mean, of course not. Yeah, he, he said, would you mind, so the answer is of course not. Please choose something in exchange from the items on the counter. Okay, this time we're going to take the flute. I'll take the flute. The flute? Very good, Prince Alex. May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Thank you. Awesome! Just like our sister, we can play the flute. Yeah! Oh, wow. I love the colorful confetti music note, the uh, confetti-like music notes that come out of the flute. Alexander plays a lovely tune on the flute. But Alexander's golden braids don't sway as he plays like his sisters do. Indeed not. Okay, so we just got back our family ring, and it's so dear to us, and we wouldn't want to, you know, uh, remove it from us because we're just so attached to it. So now let's uh, go throw it away and give it to Sing Sing. Alexander holds out his insignia ring to the nightingale, hoping she perhaps is the nightingale that Jella spoke of, and that she might be able to take the ring to Cosima. The ring is the one thing he has that might alert Cosima to his presence on the Isles. Hello, Snakey. Nightingale swoops down and grabs the ring. Snake sure seems interested in Alexander giving stuff to the bird. He's having like convulsions. He keeps swinging back and forth, yeah. Sing Sing, what have you got in your mouth, my pretty? A gold ring? Sing Sing, where did you get this? Realm of Daventry. But this is Alexander's ring. Oh my soul, he must be here. Sing Sing, I wish I could I wish you could tell me what you've seen. Is he really here then? On this very island? Oh, if only I could leave this castle as easily as you. Take this ribbon, Sing Sing. If you know where he is, return it to him. Please be careful, Alexander. It is so dangerous and yet I could not wish you away. So while she flies to the little ribbon, which turns red for some reason. <clears throat> little bird makes a delivery. Yay, we're successful this time. Nightingale has dropped a bit of red velvet on the ground. It's a red velvet hair ribbon. Could it be? 
Could it possibly belong to Cosima herself? Or am I merely wishing it were so? <sighs> Yay! The lady's hair ribbon is made out of the finest red velvet I would weave. Oh! A long strand of black hair is caught in the ribbon. Well, let's, you know, show our creepy side to the viewers and take out our strand of hair and carry it around with us wherever we go. Awesome. I'm surprised he doesn't lose that hair, because I would think that if you put it in your pocket, it would be kind of, I don't know, easy to lose. Okay, so next we're going to go to the Isle of Wonder. One more thing before stuff happens. Okay. Because nothing's happened yet. Oh, I just remembered. I could have given the poem to Sing Sing. Oh well, we'll do it later. Yeah, nothing's happening. Oh, hey! Oh, I thought this didn't come until... Oh, okay, whatever. Delicate China teacup is occupying the chair at the moment. Nice and sparkly. So of course we want it. I wonder whose it is. Let's see. I want why on earth is there a coffee table in the middle of the garden with no chairs? Except for this one way over here. Maybe the person who sits in that chair has very long arms. Maybe. An elegant padded chair provides a cushy seat from which to enjoy the lively garden. I want to sit down. Alexander would love to sit a spell, but he's a tad busy at the moment, just standing here. Alexander doesn't sit spells, he casts spells. Haha. Ha. I want to get the hole on the wall. Yeah, you can't. Fine. Rawr. Well, let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can charm these flowers a bit. With a song. May I have this dance? Oh my! <laughs> Hey. I love this music. Yeah, me too. And look, the hole in the wall backed away a bit. Now I have to be very quick about this. As soon as he stops playing, we have to grab the hole in the wall. But depending on how fast uh, the game is running, it might end a little quicker than I would like. Which would suck. actually can't hear the music right now, so... Oh, okay, there we go. I'm not even gonna read that, because it'll take up too much time. Yes! While the wallflowers dance, Alexander snatches a hole in the wall. Awesome! Basically what it said was the wallflowers got carried away and keep dancing. And that one's like... <laughs> okay. Now let us go back to... The, uh, not the land of the Green Isles. We are in the land of the Green Isles. Let's go back to the Isle of the Crown. All right. All right, Sing Sing. Uh, what am I giving you? Oh, right. I'm giving you this pretty poem. I don't want to disturb the old tree. Just, okay, there we go. He holds up the love poem, hoping that the bird will deliver it to the same place she took the ring, and the chance that the receiver might truly be Cosima. The nightingale swoops down, grabs the love poem, and takes it towards the castle. Sing, sing, my sweet, you bring another present. Let me see. Sing, sing. What was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through, and binds my heart with links so tight I cannot live without the sight of you? Oh, Alexander! And she blushes. I was hoping he'd return to you. Take this to him while he waits. Hurry, my fleet one! This is so cute. I, I love being able to send things back and forth with Cosima. It's so conspiratorial. Why? I don't know, I'm just... It's, it's just... It's, I'm, I'm just being silly. Nightingale has dropped a bit of paper on the ground. It's a note! Dearest Alexander, I cannot believe you are here, my friend. Please, 
Please, please be careful. Abdul isn't about to let anyone interfere with his plans. Watch out for Abdul's genie, Alexander, and do not do anything rash. I am not without resources, and I will prevail if I can only find some small means of defense. Do nothing to try to get me. You must not be endangered again for my sake. Greatly in your family's debt, Kasima. Alexander's note trembles as he reads the note. For the first time uh, in his long search, he has heard her voice again, if only in writing. No words of love, only friendly concern. Friend? Is the maiden really shy? Or does she regard him only as a brother? Well, I guess we'll have to find out in the next video because I'm definitely out of time. Alright, bye everyone. Bye bye.